Okay, let's spend some time going over thoracic anatomy. And yeah, check this thing out. Uh, we're going to zoom this in. Some. All right. Oh yeah, baby. This isn't the thorax you're looking for, right? All right, anyways. All right. That is a left carotid artery. Thyroid. The thyroid. Clavicle. Right subclavian vein. Whoa. Sorry. The lightsaber I know is going to get... Humeral head, scapula, right lung upper lobe, so this is the left lung upper lobe, if we can see this thing right here, 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 the left subclavian artery, this is a vertebra. Right subclavian artery. Trachea. Esophagus. On either side is the pectoris major muscle. trapezius muscle. It's the head of the clavicle. The left common carotid artery. the left subclavian artery, ribs, on either side, these are the supraspinatus muscles, trapezius muscles, this is the patient's um, left lung, we can see the esophagus very nicely right there. Scapula, vertebra, right subclavian vein enhancing very nicely with uh, contrast, right subclavian artery, there's that pectoris major muscle, and behind it, pectoris minor muscle, and let's see. so this is the subscapularis muscle and the infraspinatus muscle. Okay, talking about this level now. Pectoris major muscle. Pectoris minor muscle. Ribs. Aortic arch. Vertebra. We're probably about the level of T4 or 5, maybe lower. Scapula. 
infraspinatus muscle structure here trachea so the right brachycephalic vein left brachycephalic vein and the brachycephalic artery and then right in here this little air bubble right here that's the esophagus sternum rib ascending aorta descending aorta pulmonary vessel oh, I take that back, I'm sorry these little guys in here pulmonary vessels superior vena cava we can see this right here it's the bifurcation of the trachea also called the carina descending aorta again vertebra the thecal sac with the spinal cord in it. These muscles here are intercostal muscles. And if we see this black line in here, that is the right upper lobe segmental bronchus. And right next to it, there's always a blood vessel right next to it that's going to be the right superior pulmonary vessel so those vessels will lie very close to each other lungs <clears throat> and then this is actually the left pulmonary artery and then we should be able to see the esophagus right there okay continuing down Ascending aorta, main pulmonary artery, it's the left superior pulmonary vein, descending aorta, left pulmonary artery so it's, it's going like this to right there vertebra right pulmonary artery so it's generally kind of a y-shaped structure a zygos vein right scapula right upper pulmonary veins superior vena cava sternum let's see a bit over here the right main bronchus, the left main bronchus. So continuing on after the bifurcation of the trachea, we now are in the main bronchuses, right and left. The lung. And then over here, the serratus anterior muscle. About halfway done. Now we can see a little bit more of the heart here in these images. 
we have ascending aorta, main pulmonary artery, left superior pulmonary vein over here the left upper lobe bronchus right next to it left lower lobe pulmonary artery descending aorta vertebra okay, this guy left lower lobe bronchus so the left upper lobe was over here left lower lobe right here okay right side bronchus intermedius right next to it right here right lower lobe segmental artery okay these structures here are ribs Let's see if we can differentiate this here right right in here you can see some filling there that's the right interlobular pulmonary artery and then this is the right superior pulmonary vein so it has more contrast in it because it's being pumped out from the heart here superior vena cava this is the lung of course we can start to see the left atrium scapula serratus anterior muscle and then on the outside of that the elastissimus dorsi muscle sternum main pulmonary artery ascending aorta left atrium, descending aorta, vertebra, left inferior pulmonary vein, here we can see the thecal sac containing the spinal cord, this little guy right here with the air in it is the esophagus, Over here, the right inferior pulmonary vein. Superior vena cava. Here's that right atrial appendage. And then, of course, the lungs. Okay, continuing on. Now we can see the right ventricle. The aortic root. We're actually able to see the aortic valve. This very small white thing right here is the left anterior descending artery. left ventricle, left atrium, descending aorta, the 
the left inferior pulmonary vein. It's the thecal sac containing the spinal cord. Vertebra. The trapezius muscle. Oh. Bear with me here. This smaller muscle back here, I, I want to make sure I indicate that correctly. That's the trapezius muscle. The one more proximal to the spine is the erector spinae muscles. And if we can see this small vascular structure right here, that's the azygos vein. The structure with air inside of it is the esophagus. Right inferior pulmonary vein. This is the right lower lobe segmental bronchus. Right atrium. Ribs. Right coronary artery. Well, oh, I take that back. Right coronary artery. This little tiny dot right there is the left circumflex coronary artery. So blood vessels feeding the heart. These kind of decreased densities here are the costal cartilage. We can actually see a pericardium right in here. Right ventricle, left ventricle, the line between them is the intraventricular septum. Latissimus dorsi muscle, aorta, vertebra, the equal sac with the spinal cord inside of it, this little structure with air inside of it here is the esophagus, you can see little tiny black circles here, those are pulmonary vessels. Inferior vena cava now, the inferior vena cava, ribs, coronary sinus, you can see a very faint line here, and anterior to that line is the Lung is the right middle lobe. You can see a faint line here. This is the lingua, the lingula, I mean, sorry. All right, last slide. Right ventricle, intraventricular septum, left ventricle, well, air filled structures, the esophagus, aorta, right behind it, the hemizygous vein, a vein vertebra. inferior vena cava, the liver, the right coronary artery,
the lower lobe of the left lung. Here's the tail of the middle lobe of the right lung, and then here is the lower lobe of the right lung, and then right here, this little tiny guy here, is the azygos vein. Okay, hopefully this is helpful.